week, I'm going to show you the perfect beverage to start off a wonderful brunch or a special breakfast. Okay, first we're going to start with a standard can of frozen OJ. That is going to go into the blender. Okay, now half of a can of water. Okay, into the blender. Okay, then one can, this is our can, one can of ice. Okay, one can of ice. Okay, lid on. Okay. Now, you notice how thick that is. So from here, all we're gonna do is add club soda or seltzer to make it sparkly. And we're gonna measure it out. Remember, we used half a cup or half a can of water, one can of ice. Now remember, you have to have three cans of liquid to go in. So we're minus one and a half, right? So we're going to measure it so that we don't get it too diluted. Something I have found, guys, over the years with frozen orange juice, you can always add a little bit more water or a little bit more liquid to it. But if you get too much, you've ruined it. You've probably found out the same thing, right? And guys, if you like these things, give us a like and a comment. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, okay? Because you're going to miss out if you don't on all of these wonderful things. Oh my goodness, all I'm going to do from here is give this a stir. I saved my spoon that still had that orange juice on it. Okay, nicely incorporated. <laughs> the only other thing we need to do now is drink it. And this is a time, guys, when you can bring out a little bit of a different glass than you use all the time. Nice little use for those Irish coffee cups, right? Oh. and look how gorgeous that is. And I'll tell you what, if you are having an adult brunch, take a little bit of that, halfway through, put a little Prosecco or champagne in it, you got yourself a beautiful mimosa. Check out this and all of our other videos on Breakfast Week. And if you haven't subscribed, guys, throw us a like. Do just a little comment on there and hit that subscribe bell, will ya? All right, and we'll see you next time on Things Tina Does.